Hey peeps, welcome back. Okay. Check every corner. That's blocked off. I guess I'm just going here then. Open. Ooh. 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 Ah. Oh, am I fighting? Who? Who am I fighting? Oh, ah. You're right in my face. Where's he? Did he glitch out? Okay, I found a file. Do I have to do anything? Oh, ignite it. Ah, ignite it. He's behind the pole. Yeah. Come on. Do it. Do it! Fuck. Why is that one so hard? Ah, shit. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm like running slowly and everything. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get him? to slowly rise it and then drop it down. Then it works. Okay. I found a text. Amitayus. Oh, Buddha of infinite life, our valley, once the peaceful place to live. A peaceful place to live. Filth of life and song is now a dark and dangerous place. Evil spirits and demons roam the valley like the realm of Narikas. Oh, Amitayus, O oh Buddha of infinite life, please lift the curse that has befallen our homes. Take away the pain and free us from the suffering. Okay. Recording, so let's go. I need to heal. Hey, perfect. So I guess it only heals to full and then well, it's like like until the normal one. And then all the extra bars are just bonus. So you can only get those through exorcism. Can't do this. There's nothing to exercise or get. Okay. I'm I'm actually really enjoying this game so far because it's just I mean uh, of course, it's not like a masterpiece or anything, but it's it's unique. It's different from what I've been playing, and that's why I like it so much. It's like a nice change of pace from what I've been doing. And it's not too hard. It's like a little bit to relax, but it's nice and spooky. It's an original story. I think I, that's why I like it. It feels unique compared to other games. It's not just like some place it's really like trying to use the local culture culture and yeah it's blocked okay local traditions in there? Let's go in there then. Ooh, maybe we almost found him already. Okay, 
nothing here. Let's move on then. Can I... Do I have to find a similar one or can I just already... I guess not. Okay, it's nothing there. Oh, this goes down. Ooh, statues! guy was a seal. Cool. And that kind of reminds me of Fatal Frame, so... And of course I love Fatal Frame. So that's cool. Like lifting the seal by going somewhere. Uh, I want to play Fatal Frame again! I should start working on that. Let's complete. But it takes so much freaking time. Missing Buddha statue. Okay. Sure. So what do we have here? A broken pot. He is kind of full of himself, right? Oh, I need three. Pulse with energy. Because he's like, oh, big brother is gonna save the day. He's not gonna like it. Oh. Easy peasy. Oh. Oh, that was another one? Whoops. Ah, oh, that was one. But I did one. You could hear me swing the... Okay. Can't open this, right? No. So I gotta find some seals. Oh, I can go further down. Check it out! Bam. And... Bam! What's this? Oh, key! Pointer! Did I get the key now? Seems like I didn't- ah oh, yeah, I did pick it up. Okay. I haven't really found the place to use it yet, though. Incense? I made it in. Oh, that's creepy. You are creepy. It doesn't have anything for me. Oh shit, oh shit. Yes. Oh, I got another one. Okay. But what about the third one? Where am I gonna find it? Oh, I got found two. The studying the spirits, ghosts, and demons in the invisible realms. Some are earthbound, heavy ghosts who think they are still alive, 
who think they still live in the real realm of the human beings. They have unquenchable hunger and they hate all living beings for still being alive. Well, then they know they're not alive. Others are air ghosts, which who hover or fly, sailing on the winds like smoke. They're thin and light and travel fast. They too are full of hatred. Uh, okay. Uh. I came to Nyen de Kibuk Monastery to begin my lifetime's ambition of completing the 108 Koras that are guaranteed to bring Nirvana to at the time of my death. Each circling of the holy mountain will bring me closer to the realization of emptiness. But now I'm stuck in this monastery. Something terrible happened that makes it impossible to go outside these walls. I hope the Lamas can protect me and lift the curse. So this is someone who was just here? A visitor? Okay. So where do I go now? Just back? Or... Yeah. Doesn't look like I can go any further. Hey! Gotta smash all the pots. Could I go down further? No, I can't. Did miss a pot. Oh! Nice. Okay, I guess I go back. But I did the first seal. I guess it didn't count, but it looked the same. Uh. Oh wait, I found a key, yeah. Wait, was there a door? I don't really remember. Is it a door? No, it isn't. Okay. Then I guess we need to find a door that goes with that key. It's not that one, right? No. Not that either. He must be in top-notch condition. Maybe one of these. I don't know if I've been here. Where are you? Help me. Over here. I used the key. Brother? Summit. I don't think I could find him that easily. Oh, he's to the summit. He's ready up. Woo! Yeah, one of the main reasons I haven't played Fiddle Frame 2 the complete yet, I haven't done it yet, because it's... Oh, oh fuck. Holy shit. up through there. I also love the, the 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 battle system where you can like heal yourself by fighting. I get hit but once I win 
I kind of the balance returns or I get back on top by because it heals me automatically. I like that. And you can just shoot them if you if you're not handy with the motion controls. And then use the incense because I have a shitload of incense now. Definitely something here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. It's like a park, I think. Here we go. Now what do we have here? Looks pretty. Oh, there's someone there again. Do I need to light instance? Oh, it's the Buddha statue I need. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, are you a ghost? Don't. Frank, where are you? Well, that's not Frank. Shit. No, no. Fuck. Yeah, I missed completely. Oh shit, the sun where that keeps hurting me too. Gotcha. Oh, he got me. I wish there was a- oh, I'm really dying now. Gotta take care of him. Where'd he go? Run! Did I evade him? Did I do it? Oh... He saved me by ringing the gong. Oh, I'm really dying. Lagpa. Ritual hand symbolizes the dexterity of performing the four powerful activities of pacifying, grazing, subjugating, and destroying. Also symbolizes dominance over all obstructing demons. Wow. Hold B to grab a ghost. Okay. And then... Huh. Sure. You're not giving me a ghost to try it on, though. Okay, hold B. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, my thing changed. Uh, it only holding it doesn't do anything right now. It won't open for me. Oh shit. Guess I'll go just go back then. Oh, there's something here. It's a file. Main shrine. Oh, the like paw. Oh, I just I put it on top of my egg. I didn't even notice. Okay. It is my responsibility to protect the main shrine, the altar, and the chanting hall from evil. When the curse descended upon us, I decided not to leave the chanting hall anymore. It must be protected no matter what. I recite mantras and perform the sacred rituals. Put up new mandala offerings. I thought that was Mandela for a sec. And visualize all the protectors. The Dharma Dharma Palace named Nakpo Champo Chinje Chinje Shat Tandran Kerber Apaldin Labo Changpan Bekte. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm getting hungry. So can I leave this place or uh, what's up? Is there a ghost that needs grabbing? I guess I can just go back because I, I have the Buddha statue now. Now I just need to remember where I saw it. I'm sure it was back, so... Oh, here it is. I'm a bit low on health. Up. 
but I'm sure there's gonna be an incense thing here. They'll probably give me one before another fight. we go! Oh, hey, there he is. It's the dude! Insects. Okay. Let's talk to the dude. Welcome to the Nyendiki book Oh, it's a different dude. Eric. I have been expecting you. I fear your journey until now has been a confusing one. Hmm. Perhaps I can make things clearer. Cool. Ago, I was studying in the monastery library when a trick of the light revealed that the ancient manuscript I was reading was actually a palimpsest. What's that? A scroll that had been written on scraped off and used again mm. what lay underneath was a breathtaking discovery the location of an ancient terma a terma is a key piece of wisdom that was written down in ancient times and magically hidden until such future time as the wisdom is needed only but does the terma come again to the light? Maybe it was I hidden for a reason. I decipher the entire scroll. And so I brought it to Master Lama Kenpo Jigmilingpa for him to study. But in the meantime, I also told my good friend Edward Bennett what uh... I had found. And that the terma lay waiting to be collected high on the sacred one. Ben I get it now. Wait for the remainder of the scroll to be translated. And he just went in and get it. he embarked on a solo climb to retrieve the Terma. He suffered a terrible accident that resulted in the loss of his leg. Ah. By the time Bennett had recovered, Master Kenpo had deciphered the rest of the text. It was a prophecy about the man who would bring the Terma down from the mountain. Yeah. When I read the prophecy to Bennett, he immediately said that the words applied to your brother. <sighs> but isn't it a bad your thing? Brother here and prepared him to climb the mountain. Ooh. There were mundane preparations, of course, but also sacred. He's ones. really missing a leg. Normally. One cannot climb Chomolonzo unless one has journeyed on foot around the base of the mountain twelve times. Cool. Such a journey is known as a Kora. Mm -hmm. Of course, Frank had not completed these no. Koras. But he doesn't Bennett believe in it. Persuaded Jomo Menmo's apprentice to perform a series of sacred rituals that would appease the goddess and allow Frank to approach her. The apprentice was a young girl named Mingma Yangzi. Something must have gone wrong. The day after Frank left camp, ghosts and demons started to appear. Oh. The Sherpas fled. My fellow monks fled. They have run away from the goddess for the very reason that you approach her. They flee themselves. You approach yourself. <laughs> Thanks all the same, mate. But I don't believe in your goddess. I'm just here to collect my brother and move on. You don't need to believe in her. You have been fighting these ghosts that you do not believe in, yes? Mm -hmm. They are only going to get stronger. And if you do not prepare yourself to approach the mountain, Ultimately, these ghosts will defeat you. You think this is a I love the style of cutscenes. And it is, but it is also about you. Not all ghosts wish you harm. Really? Seek out the spirits of our departed lamas and learn what they have to teach you. Are they going to teach me something? Ooh, that's cool. 
So he's gone now. Okay, let's check. Okay, next save point I might already just cut it because I don't have that much time left before I have to I actually have to make dinner right now. Now I'm the last one alive. All the others ran away or were pulled into the bardo to become ghosts. I heard the shrine keeper reciting his mantras during the night, but at dawn there was a terrible scream and the mantra stopped, replaced instead by strange whispers. I must stay focused and clear my mind. I recite the mantras and beat my gong. Its sound purifies the air and keeps the evil spirits at bay. Nice. I like that. The idea of the gong purifying. Do I need to go here? I guess so. Did I take the stairs or the door coming here? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just check the door. Oh, there's nothing here. Just a nice view. Okay. Stairs it is. Wait, wait, wait. You can look. Nature books. High mountain regions. Okay. So... What am I doing? I want to heal, mostly. Ah, okay. This is where he hit the gong. Shadow. The bardo. Oh, no. The bardo is an intermediate state between death and rebirth. Those who recognize the clear light may attain immediate enlightenment. Others will experience powerful visions. If a monk or lama sits next to the deceased and re reads aloud from the bardo total, Tzbetchen, Book of the Dead, the consciousness may recognize these forms for what they really are, projections and reflections of inner realities. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay. Ooh, can I, can I, can I do a thing? Yes, I can. Ha! <laughs> or not. Is it? Oh, another. do I get a new block? Yes, I do. Look at that. Nice. Now I actually saw it. Okay. So there's nine upgrades. The demon rules the magic circle, invulnerable within this realm. Trickery destroys the walls. Weakness part. Uh, demon's gone. Blood's not free. Okay. So I came from the ladder. So I'm going here. Still waiting for that safe point that's happening right now. Okay. Oh no, I want that. Oh, I can't get the pot. Okay, I really want to keep playing, but I gotta stop it here because it just saved and I have to stop playing for today. So, we'll continue this tomorrow. <laughs>